a little update on the ponds. This is my mini pond and I got my mega pond over there, a monster pond. I am going to actually convert this monster pond, which is a koi pond right now, into a tropical pond. What that means is we're gonna put a heater on it so that in the winter it stays at a, you know, at least doesn't go below 75 degrees. In the summer, that's easy because it's, it, Florida is always hot, but you know, it does get a little chilly sometimes in the winter, you know, a couple days. So I don't, I couldn't put tropical fish in there if, um, if it would dip down, you know, under, under 70. So we're gonna convert this over. I'm getting a whole overhaul of this pond. And so that some of these fish, as they get bigger, can go in there. I really want to create a huge monster pond. These pakus, if you remember, were little tiny little guys, and we every single one of them has lived. They are a, mo a monstrously big now compared to what they were. They they at least they're probably 20 times the size they were. They're they're, they're definitely the size. Uh, I would say they're probably about eight inches each right now. They're really big. And you can tell they, they, they're not skittish anymore. They're like very friendly. It took a long time. They would, usually when I would come to the pond right here and, and if I was sitting here like this, they would just scatter and hide. The Oscars are still hiding. This is one of my Oscars there. The Oscars are not obviously as big as the Pakus, but they're doing really well too. When I come to the pond, they they come out and you know I feed them and they love it. So. This is great. When these pockets get a little bigger, you know, and once I get the pond overhaul done, the big monster pond overhaul, they, they're gonna go in there. And I think they, they're gonna get enormous. You can see there's one of my, my albino Oscars in the back, albino tiger Oscars. And these guys will, will become monstrously big. And then I will have my monster fish back. It took me a long time. When I left New York, I never thought I would even get a fish tank. I always wanted one, and now I'm doing it outside, which is even better because I have that, that big monster pond up there, 6,000 gallons at least, so these fish will be very happy in that. Right now they're doing, this This pond probably is about 600, maybe more, maybe 800 gallons, so they're doing really well in this one right now, so even with all the hair algae in here that I'm going to get cleaned out eventually, there's my Oscar, but Tiger Oscar, I have four of those. And yeah, this hair algae is terrible here. I don't know, that's the only thing that's really annoying. I gotta figure out a way to get rid of it, but the fish don't seem to mind too much. It just, it just gets in the way, I have to constantly clean it out. So that's the uh, the Monster Paku, the Monster Albino Paku update. For those of you who love to uh, see these things grow, I do, I know. I remember when I had my fish tank in New York and you saw my Monster 650 there. I, they, everything started really tiny. It's not so glamorous, not so much fun when they first start. Everyone's like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, big deal. And then when they start getting big and cool, you can't get enough of them because they're, uh, everyone loves to see humongous monster fish, especially these albino pakus are so beautiful when they get bigger. Even now they're, they're looking great. It's funny, a regular paku, when they get bigger, they just turn into these like gray, ugly looking things. These things get just better and better. Look at that red lower fin right there. The belly they have is red. And, I mean, the pakus in the albino form are, are way, way, it's like a different fish. They're gorgeous. And the bigger they get, the more gorgeous they get. The complete opposite. Because what happens is most pakus get darker, you know, regular ones. And they just they just don't look as good. When you strip away that all that melon and you get these, you, get the, you see the true pink colors of them and the, and the reds come out and they're just really, really nice. So anyway, that's the update on the Monster Pond. Hopefully you guys are doing great. If you like what you've seen, hit that subscribe button. Keep following all the progress, especially when I do the build out uh, on the new Monster Pond and we put the heater on it. You guys are gonna get to see the whole overhaul on that. Dave Palumbo for Muscle Fish. Have a great day.